David, package game for you. Oh. Oh my god, Mr. Bournes, nice to see you doing something useful for a change. Fuck, look at this, guys. Boys and girls, look! The size of this thing, it looks like the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Let's have a look what we have. Let me see. Let me see what's there to be had. Oh, better be safe than sorry. Yeah, I think it's Excalibur's a little blunt this morning. Oh my god, I never knew there was so much in it. Look at this. Huh? Oh. That's, so you get your own percussive device, see, when, with each, each and every one. Look at this stuff. Oh my god, did we do a good job or what, Michael? Handwritten lyrics, boys and girls, in my hand. Yes. So the lyrics to all the tunes. There's a, oh, what's this? A little book of my poetry? No. This'll be the, oh God, yeah. Intimate photographs from that very time period. Mr. Sykes and I in uh, a friend of mine who's unfortunately passed away now, uh, a Czech uh, a film director called Karo Dierka. He rented me the, his villa in La Riole in the south of France, which is where John and I put the main body of the guitars together. There's Ainsley, very rare, very rare picture. I think this is courtesy of, uh, of Neil Murray, bass player extraordinaire. These little personal snaps, because I lost mine. Yeah, kick ass, it's worth, oh, and there's Miss Catane. Uh, body work, doing body work on a Jaguar, I think it is. Polishing and, yes. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, discs. This is the original album, re, uh, remastered. Oh, wow. Man, this is so cool. What's this guy? Oh, this is a bootleg. We had no recordings of uh, Vivian Campbell and Adrian Vandenberg other than uh, bootlegs. Uh, so we sweetened it up as much as we could. And there's a, an in concert here uh, from 87, 88. So that'll be fun. Crank it up in the car. Ah, this. Yeah, yeah, there's a bigger picture of John and I. Um, White Snake Evolutions. Um, put together by one of our assistant engineer producers, uh, Tom Gordon, uh, listened to countless cassette copies of varying quality uh, of all the demos uh, from the, the songs that John Sykes and I wrote for what became the 87 album. And it's a disc called Evolutions. And it gives you, well, it's the evolution of, of a song, hearing it from when I first introduced an idea to John or vice versa, he introduced something. And we're both playing guitars. I'm playing appalling piano uh, on stuff. But you hear like the different lyrics before I even had lyrics for these songs. Um, yeah, they're all on there. Of course, Here I Go Again and Crying in the Rain aren't on Evolutions because we knew those songs then. We weren't writing them, so. But everything's, yeah, it's really fascinating. And this is one of my favorite uh, pieces of this record because it takes me back to that space and time uh, when John and I were just in, getting to know each other. And it was uh, very nice and very great. And, and obviously, the, uh, John's an amazing musician. And it was beautifully inspiring for me. And hopefully, it was a mutual experience. It was later on, sadly, that our relationship deteriorated. But when I listened to these, I think about the fun we had in creating them, and that's really important to me. Right, what else is here? Ooh, look. These are remixes. Remixes, 2017 remixes of Still of the Night, Is This Love, Give Me All Your Love, Here I Go Again, 87. Uh, that's the album version, of course, not the alternate one. Um, and we did 5.1 mixes. Ooh, coming up to that. Yeah, so I hope you like this. This was just bringing up to, to date a little more without compromising the integrity of the song. And, ooh, looky. This is the uh, foreplay, more foreplay, uh, the classic MTV videos remixed and not only in stereo, but in 5.1. So those of you lucky enough to have home theaters are in for a rare treat. Of course, we remastered. 
um, courtesy of Tyler Bournes, our head of creative video department. And I think you're going to enjoy this. And uh, yeah, so, and I, there's more. Apart from the fact the actual box is great for keeping stuff like, you know, memorabilia in, once you've got all this stuff out. And then look, your very own frameable 87 cover. This cover was uh, designed by Hugh Syme, a Canadian artist who I worked with very closely. Um, I wanted to have an image uh, of, of like an ancient looking amulet, which had been dug up after centuries or thousands of years, um, that still had obvious power uh, in it. And, and of course, all of these symbols are positive, moon, sun, fertility, uh, Serpens albus is Latin for white snake. So you have two snakes just meeting up here and then two snakes who apparently know each other very well indeed at the bottom. But that, uh, yeah, I'd like to have that back, Hugh. I did pay for it, darling. Uh, yeah, so that, that's it, I think. Oh, yeah, the box set. This is, yeah, lyric stuff. I think that's about it. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm so proud of this, so pleased. And I gotta, also thank uh, my art director in London, a very gifted man I've worked with for ooh, 10, 12 years now, Hugh Gilmore, who was very instrumental in the great packaging of this thing, and God willing, you should deserve an award, Hugh. And also, uh, he's working as my a and man now with Warner Brothers, which is very exciting. Michael McIntyre did the remixes on the 5.1 and uh, the stereo mixes for the new uh, video and stuff, the new mixes on here. And I think that's about everybody other than my thanks to John Sykes, Neil Murray, Ainsley Dunbar, um, Bill Cuomo, and of course, uh, Marty Kalner, the video director, and the amazing uh, uh, Tony Kitane, and at, at that time, Geffen Records. Oh my God, it's going to be a very merry Whitesnake Christmas. And here I go.